Today is day six on our Trans-Siberian Railway journey. This morning we are in the town of Irkutsk and we just grabbed a taxi from our hostel. And we've just arrived at the train station. It's about 7 a.m. We're way too early. <laughs> we got up just in time to chug our coffee and get here. We're saving breakfast for the train. We're only riding six and a half hours today. To the town of Ulan Ude, I think is how you say it. I'm excited to experience a new class of train travel today. So we rode first from Moscow to Irkutsk, and today we are riding third class. But since it's only Short. six and a half hours, it it's still hot water. Good. But we are on one of the nicer trains, so we're riding train 002 today. I don't know, I'm just excited to check out a new train. Yeah. Not sure how much we'll be able to vlog because we are going to be stuck in a car with like a lot of other people. <laughs> we'll do our best. We're looking for 25 and 26. This is supposed to be one of the prettiest parts of the Trans-Siberian because we're near like Baikal and we might see it and all the trees are changing colors so we're going to be looking out the window a lot. same 
two cranes, like, right beside where we ended the hike. Ooh. And we ended the tunnel. The train ride so far has been absolutely beautiful. Like, this has by far been the best scenery that we've had. It's sunny outside, the sky is blue, it's fall, all of the leaves are changing colors. We're really enjoying our third class train ride. <laughs> Got off to a little rocky start, but I'm used to the smell now. <laughs> it's really not that bad. Like once you get in your own cabin, it's really just like walking down the corridor and like seeing all of the kind of gross things that people do. And sharing plugs. <laughs> Thankfully we charged all of our stuff last night. from our super nice attendant. Our last ladies were kind of scary. They weren't mean, but just not very inviting. But this lady like smiles and laughs at me when I try to speak Russian. And she's just been the best. Across from our real seats, or these seats by the window, and it was still laid out like a bed. And she saw Nate coming over here to film a lot. And she came and made it into a table for us and said we could sit over here. We shouldn't say that, but I think that's what she meant. <laughs> so it's nice to have a friendly person on the train. Time for lunch. Back to the instant meals. Today we're having big bond mashed potatoes. <laughs> that actually looks pretty good. This one comes in a bag. Just a little bit of it, but we are still on the lake. We've driven beside the lake this entire time, and the views have been incredible. Honestly, like our first three days, I was a little underwhelmed with what we were seeing out of the train. It was just like really little villages, lots of trees, and green hills, and the sky was gray. But today has been really, really nice. So a few days ago when we were in first class, we gave you like a full tour of our little cabin that we had. So we thought we would try to do something similar here in third class, but I won't call this a tour. I'll call this more of an explanation because I'm going to stay here because we're in a very crowded third class cabin. Okay. So when you get on the train, you get a few things. You get this brown blanket that definitely has not been washed from the person before you. You get a pillow, which does not come with a pillowcase, but when you, get it, you get this little bag of stuff. And you get a full-size sheet, another full-size sheet for your mattress pad, and a pillowcase to cover your pillow with. So, like, at least you know that stuff this week. In the compartment that was the size of our first-class compartment, where we had two beds, in third class they fit six beds. So, you yeah, have one here, one here. And then where Kara is sitting. Two more bed above, and then this is the bed. This like flips over, makes this one little bit. And then you get. <laughs> In order to make your bed more comfortable, you get one of these massive mattress pads, which, like the brown blanket, definitely has not been cleaned after the last person used it. And then, as far as storage space goes, underneath my uh, bench here, there's room for probably two carry-on size suitcases. And then, up here, above the second bed, you also have room for two carry-on size suitcases, if you can get them up there. <laughs> I think that's pretty much it. The plug situation is not near as good as it was in the last one. There is a plug right behind Kara, but I think we got lucky with that. I saw a, one other plug back by the bathroom, and that might be it. Okay, I think that about wraps it up. I thought it might be helpful to anybody who was trying to decide which class to book on the train. Again, for six and a half hours, this is perfectly fine and way, way cheaper than first class. But if you're like just riding the Trans-Siberian for six days for fun, you might want to think about upgrading to at least second class.
Six and a half hours flew by and now we're in Uran Ude. It's hot here. This is great. Our hotel is only 10 minutes away, so we are walking because it is so pretty outside. Please help me. Help me. <laughs> 